In this video, we're going to go over roof flashings. Basically, everywhere that you have a flashing that's installed that has to be cut and folded. For example, this fascia comes and meets this roof, creating this valley. We have to cut this metal right here to turn up this valley. Therefore, we need a soldered flashing here. This roof and this one coming together and intersecting with a wall create an inside corner where you have to cut this piece of metal here to, in, to fold that into that contour. There again, when you do that, you need to solder it. Same thing with this ridge coming and meeting this wall. This flashing has to be cut and folded, therefore it needs to be soldered. Anywhere, as a rule of thumb, if you've got to cut it, it needs to be soldered. Otherwise, you're left with a hole that you can either caulk or you can leave open and obviously that's going to cause a water intrusion issue. One thing that I really um, want to point out to you that we see all the time because we do fix water intrusion as well. Um, that's, that's why I started making these videos was to explain to people uh, what we see in the field uh, to hopefully prevent homeowners from having these issues in the future down the road. Kick out flashings which are at the end of a roof run, direct the water that comes down the roof and wall intersection to go out of the wall instead of dumping in the wall like it typically would at this point right here, goes out of the wall and into the gutter. This is probably one of the most common areas that you have water intrusion in a home. It basically rots out the wall underneath this fascia all the way down to the ground. The most important aspect of once you have these flashings uh, made and in place is that they're installed correctly with the house wrap. That is something that we see done wrong 95% of the time. It's just as simple as lifting the house wrap up down here at the bottom and putting the flashing underneath it and then folding it right back down over the top of it. What that does is now that allows this water that hits this Tyvek to flow down the Tyvek and never go back behind the flashing like it can over here where this example of it being installed incorrectly. That water can go right here and go down behind the flashing. On this side it can't do that. It has to stay outside the flashing and out the roof. So any questions that you have or any, any information that you need that you feel like we did not cover here today, feel free to reach out to us, weatherproofingamerica.com. Thank you.